Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and today we're going to continue our talk on all things techie tech tech related and we're going to dive into your question of whether or not you should choose computer science or software development as a degree. So settle in, grab yourself a mug of something saucy and let's spill some tea. Mmm. I feel smarter already. Okay, so let's just dive into what computer science is and I'm just going to surmise what what it is because it's kind of a techie way of explaining it what they do uh, but computer science is essentially learning the procedures and being able to act upon data and information in a scientific computational way um, and what that means is that you're going to utilize algorithms data structures uh, different kinds of applied maths and that's really what computer science is software development on the other hand is more of an application based things it's how you're going to build applications how, like the user interface aspect of things stuff like that so there are two there are two halves of a whole essentially but they they work in different ways so let's get into computer science a little bit more number one computer science is <laughs> is what it it sounds like it sounds like it's a, a weightier heavier type of thing to dive into and that's because when you get into algorithms and different things like the operating systems and how those things work it can go really really in depth so if you are a very um analytical minded person this is a really good field for you to get into um in terms of your education because you're going to go so far into learning stuff that you can really excel there. On the other hand, software development is more of a, like I said, it's more of a UI based. You're definitely going to be coding and things like that, but it's not so stringent in the amount of stuff you need to know. Very helpful to know computer science for software development because um, you can make your programs more efficient, but at the same time, you could work in tandem with computer scientists so that your programs run even better. But software development really has an emphasis on how your application is going to work depending on where like what your speciality is in software development you could be front end you can be back end you can be full stack so i would say with software development you have more flexibility honestly uh just because you're you're more so of the you're the face you're the visual and when we get into things like salary it seems to be on average that software developers do get paid a bit more than computer science uh, major degree people. I think it's about a 10 grand difference roughly they say at least an entry level and this is because I would say we live in a capitalist society and so you have just so many more opportunities to develop applications for different companies for small companies big companies middle sized companies everybody needs an app for their company or a website for their company and things like that so that's why i would say software developers are more so in demand than computer science people because computer science you're going to deal more so i think with um operating systems and things like that and that's a very it's more of a managed field you know most people who get into things like that kind of stay there for quite a while and operating systems don't really branch out that much you know like you get uh, i think we just got to windows 11. apple does upgrade the ios quite often but it really depends like most of these most of these things that i think computer scientists deal with are kind of kind of solid they don't change that much that often but like i said on the other hand software development it changes all the time computer science also though as a pro for it you learn way more in-depth stuff about computers than you do for software development so if you're savvy on both sides and you you know you go to computer science as your degree but then you also learn things like graphic design and and uh user interface things then you would be a really excellent candidate for a really good job because to know both sides of that most people don't most people know one or the other um, if you're into computer science you're not really into design so much so your user interfaces are usually lacking for a better word in um, just general appeal so if you can find a nice middle ground there you're golden so another pro for computer science and this is a huge one just because uh, most people, when you start to interview, they take a lot of algorithmic and math-based questions for the interview process. There's going to be a lot of either proctored or non-proctored, but you're going to usually do some sort of, you know, quote-unquote whiteboarding kind of things to 
get a job and a lot of that you can learn in a computer science degree if you don't go to computer science and you know learn that at the time when you're in school the the green book is <laughs> like everybody talks about the green book it's going to have all that in there hacker rank you can learn all these things there as a software developer because you don't always go super in depth into algorithms um as i've said before i came from wgu and we do have a course it was the operating systems course where you go so in depth <laughs> into operating systems and com and how uh, computers works, which is kind of a very computer sciencey thing. And then you also have to learn a bunch of algorithms. They don't go s as deep into algorithms as the actual computer science path does, but you do learn quite a bit there and you have the opportunity. I will suggest that um, when I took the operating systems course, which has been revamped since I've taken it. I don't think it's as in-depth now. I think they scaled back a little bit for the software developers, but I did take a Udemy course because we get access to Udemy for free called Operating Systems from Scratch by um, Vinesh Sakar. And that was amazing. It's a, it's a great course if you do choose to go the software development route and you wanna learn how algorithms, like the different kind of algorithms and how the operating systems work. Um, additionally, if you're already in computer science and you have to take a course similar to this, this would be a class that you might want to look into because it'll really help you understand algorithms in, I think, a very, a very easy to digest way. Um, cause otherwise if you're a software developer, you know, you're, I think you lean a little bit more creative. I think most people do on the software developer side. And so very, very sciencey kind of mathy things like that might be a bit much. But on the other hand, if you're into computer science, this might just be a kind of more fun way to learn stuff. So there's something to check out. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested in that. Um, but that being said, when you do get to a job, so say you pass all the all your interviews and you get a bunch of offers and you're trying to figure out which company that you want to work for now. Most things when you're going into an entry level, even though you had to do all this stuff for your interview, all these different algorithm things and sciencey things and whatever, and you think, you know, everything's going to be so complicated. Most of the stuff you do actually when you first get your job, if you're doing things kind of more on the software development side is like, like you're going to be like, changing the color of a button <laughs> like very simple stuff it's it's gonna be nothing to um advance my my t uh, my mentor always says he's like when i first hire people he's like i'm not gonna give you access to everything he's like i want to keep my job so just know that everything that you're gonna be doing is stuff that's not that important because i can't have you breaking my whole application or you know the whole system or whatever it is you're doing so just know that even though you're going to learn all these things once you actually get to the job most of it is going to not pertain specifically to the job and that's okay because you're going to build up to that that's just something that happens in the beginning everybody goes through it it's it's fine so that's about it i think that's what the difference is between computer science and software development it really depends ultimately and I think this is the biggest takeaway that you should take from this is that it depends on how you as a person work. Monetary wise, it doesn't even matter what, what each job pays. They're very similar in pay, I think. But as a person, if you want to enjoy the work that you're doing ultimately and for a long period of time, know what things you like. And like I said, I think software developers are just slightly more creative and they're, you know, it's the look of the interface. It's making sure things work, are functional, but that they look good as they're being functional. Computer science, it's functionality over everything pretty much. Like it's not really, it's it's designed in an architectural fashion, but it's not designed in a um, visual manner. You know what I mean? So just know what things you like and where you wanna work. And because that's gonna be a big part of it, whether or not you wanna work at a fang company or you wanna make a startup or you wanna work at a startup or like what you want to do specifically so that you can really hone in on the things that you want to learn. So that is all I have for you guys today. And if you enjoyed this content, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions so that we can talk about it. But other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.